good morning welcome to another session of tao overflows om the existential sound and process of transformation om is the existential sound it is uncreated nobody is creating but it is happening and only in a state of inner harmony and silence you can hear it it has three syllables and each syllable is has a quality and it is concerned with a sound and these sounds are heard at different parts of the body with the harmony between these sounds the process of transformation begins nanak has used the word omkar which is truth and essence of truth as well it is one it is uncreated nobody is creating it but it is happening the first level is a it means to create the creative instinct first function is something has to be created the creation when something is created then it has to continue the process of evolution through the process of sustenance or preservation so this function relates to the syllable u and the last syllable is m ma the sound ma it exists in almost all the civilizations m represents mon silence serenity it is a meditative state this sound is the sound of inner transformation or existential sound the uncreated these remember the human body is a replica of existence of cosmos if cosmos is macro then human body is micro these three sounds are felt at three different locations in your body this is very significant and it has to do with the process of evolution the first sound the sound of the syllable a is felt below solar plexus below this there are two centers the earth center the muladhara and swadeshthan the water center together the earth center is the base center where energy remains stored then it begins to flow these two centers together they form the existential bioenergy or sex center or as sufis call it nafs lower emotions according to chinese it is lower dantian this center is 2 inches below the navel this relates to earth and water center the sex center the second sound is felt in the middle part of the body that middle part of the body is known as heart or in yogic terms anahat chakra this is significant it is the center of your human existence just as sun is the center of cosmos heart is the center of the human existence and according to christians this is known as the sacred heart when the horizontal and the vertical intersect one another the line that is drawn from muladhara to sahasra vertical 
and the horizontal line where they intersect that is sacred heart or the heart center anahat chakra or the kalp this is this sound of the second syllable u o it's not u a u u a u ma o it is felt in the middle part of the heart center the third sound is felt at brain the thousand petal center which is the gateway to existence up to that center it is the body mind realm it is the gateway to enter into the existence in the state of enlightenment or in place of samadhi when he when someone enters into samadhi the soul can exit from the center and merge into the cosmos it can exit from the thousand petal center or from the forehead that's why in tibet there are monasteries where human skull are kept where there is a hole at the skull or at the thousand petal center there are certain skulls are kept that way so this sex both sex center and thousand petal centers are two terminal centers the one is the highest the other is the lowest the this the it these two are in vertical way between these terminals terminal centers there are five points they are known as heart center sufis call these by different names kalb mudabbari kalb sanobari kalb nirofari and so on according to astrophysics and science these points are known as lagrangian points there are five points between the earth that the base center in the human body and the highest center the planet between them there are five such points where the gravitational force of the earth earth and that planet is neutralized so when a spacecraft travels to sun moon is it is easy the distance is much less somewhere it is the much less than the sun the distance between the earth and the sun that distance is almost 1.5 million miles so the spacecraft for the purpose of study for the purpose of exploration cannot reach the sun because of the temperature and it is strange the temperature at the center of the sun is much less than its outer surface circumference this is strange and this symbolizes that in human body the temperature at the heart is much less than on the circumference sex happens at the circumference temperature is much higher but at the center there is calmness mm -hmm. just as the world the the whirling happens on the circumference jalaluddin rumi's whirling happens on the circum circumference but at the center there is no movement the wheel moves but at the center which supports the wheel axle that remains stationary 
so the temperature at the heart center remains much lower than at the circumference this is what exactly what happens during the act of sex so between there are five lagrangian points where <clears throat> the one can settle where neither the the sex center will pull you down nor that center which is this thousand petal will pull you upwards you are in balance and these five lagrangian points can be known as five heart centers together these comprise the heart center in the process of transformation one can stay at any of these centers without being pulled either by the sex center or by the thousand petal center this is the balance point so there are five balance points these balance points are the you know there are two breasts so two centers are two inches below the nipples and two centers are two inches above the nipples and the fifth is between the two breasts in the center which is the human heart is not exactly on the left side it is actually in the center so at this point you are neither pulled down by the sex center nor pulled up by this thousand petal center so when someone attains to transformation whichever way through sex comes to a point where he remains totally in balance and that's where he comes and settles so the heart center becomes this the the center for resting in the moments of solitude one stays and dwells at that center what one can operate through any center but for operation you need the a program which is the consciousness just as in computer you have a program and then you have a device the software and hardware consciousness is the software and the mind is the hardware so although you are connected the software which is the comes out of the serenity from the heart center and then you operate through the mind and then the process of transformation continues so the balance between these two centers the sex center and the thousand petal center there at the heart center you feel the humming of the humming sound and it was milarepa the tibetan buddhist monk who felt this sound in any part of the body the disciples wherever they put their head their ears they felt that sound it happens